Hey guys, it's me Jake from Jakeman21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2018 Nissan Armada. This one is a very nicely loaded SL two-wheel drive model. As you can see outside, this one's finished off in a gray exterior, which looks fantastic on the vehicle. Just a very nice clean color. This is a beautiful metallic in it. Outside you can see your body colored cladding, running boards down below, as well as some chrome accenting, your chrome mirrors, chrome door handles, as well as this one is equipped with blind spot monitoring. You also do have your cameras for the 360 cam built in down below. Up top, sunroof, as well as your roof rails. Fuel cap is on the driver's side. And of course you can see your tinted rear privacy glass up top. Around the rear, rear parking sensors, rear backup camera. You can see your SL, as well as Nissan and Armada badges. Trunk on this one is power, just press and hold on the key fob. And just like that, it will open up. And you can press and hold again, and it will bring it back down. Coming up to this side, this one is riding on Uniroyal Tiger Paw Touring All Season Tires. 275, 60, R20s, so 20 inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes. And these, if they're not brand new, these are fairly new tires on this one. Everything follows through on this side. You can see your V8 badge right there. And up front, this one does have projector headlights, your LED daytime running lights, and fog lights down below, as well as a chrome grill. Go ahead and start it. This one does have remote start. Just make sure it's locked, press and hold. And just like that, it will start up. Otherwise on the key, lock, unlock, your trunk release as I showed, and panic. Go ahead, get inside. Intelligent entry, as I mentioned, just walk up, press, and it will unlock. Touch right there, and it will lock. Also, typical Nissan, press twice, and it unlocks all four doors. Inside, this one does have the black leather interior. See, it does have a set of all weathers. You can see your very nice leather seating with a very pretty brown piping. Also is a full power driver's seat. Go ahead, start it, put on the brake, and press right here. We'll go ahead, close the door, just have the key fob inside, and you're all good to go. And inside of this Armada, as you can see, this one does have a leather wrap steering wheel, audio system, Bluetooth phone controls on this side, and your adaptive cruise control on this side. Nice and surprisingly tight hydraulic power steering in this. Also, behind the wheel, it is power tilt and telescoping, all adjusted by right there. And I'm sure you saw when I started the car, it will return to its last memory position. Up top on the door, padded material, padded stitched leather around here, padded stitched leather on the armrest and your grab handle. You can see your power seat memory, as well as storage down below. Over here, some different controls, as well as your power trunk controls. Headlight leveling adjustment, also your power tailgate on and off right there. More of the wood grain follows through, meets up with the dash. The dash itself is all a soft padded material. Your Bose center channel, and then you can see your stitched leather around the center. In the middle, your gauges, tachometer, speedometer, your engine temperature, battery, as well as fuel and oil pressure. Very, very nice. You can see too, this one has 70,000 miles on it, which you cannot even tell. It is so clean inside now. Up top, your gauge shimmer, trip reset, and then on the sides too, you can see the indicators for your blind spot monitoring. Like I said, this one is equipped with the Bose audio system. Very nice, simple to use. It also is equipped with navigation, which you can bring up on the display. Just press the map button. You can see that right there. Your climate controls and audio will show on the bottom, but we'll go ahead and bring that up. Like I said, Bose audio, AM, FM, CD, auxiliary in, Bluetooth audio streaming, satellite radio, and it sounds great. Nice and easy to use. You also do have different controls. You can bring up your backup as well as 360 camera, different apps. I believe this does have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. If it doesn't, I'm sure you can update it to have it, but all of your controls right there. Down below, your audio system controls, preset stations, volume, tune, then all of your physical climate controls, which you can bring up on the display as well. But your fan speed, temperature, it is dual zone automatic, all of that down there. Below that, you have your heated seat controls for the driver and passenger. 
They are two stage, high and low. Airbag indicator, power outlet, and then two USB ports. In the middle, you can see this is all lined in alloy, and then you have your wood. Storage, two cup holders underneath of there. More storage underneath of this one. And this being a two wheel drive, you can see you do just kind of have the blank switch there. Your tow mode, snow mode, as well as traction control on and off. And this one is equipped with the seven speed auto. Manual mode, and then reverse. It does have a rear backup, as well as your 360, which I showed. Padded armrest in the middle, storage inside of there, which is an interesting design. You can press there, and then you have a little top storage compartment. But inside, you have your power outlet on and off, all of that. Seats are extremely comfortable. I mean, they're overstuffed. Just typical luxury car seats, exactly what you would expect. Very nice and supportive. You even do have nice bolsters on the sides. You can see your perforated leather in the middle, and then, like I said, the brown stitching as well as piping. Up top, auto dimming review mirror, garage home link. You can see your sunglasses container, as well as all of your interior lighting, sunroof controls, and your sunroof right there. Visors with your vanity mirror built in is illuminated, and it will slide to the side, extend just like that. I mean, overall, just a great place to be. I know these actually catch a lot from enthusiasts, but I have to say, I'm a fan of this thing. You know, if I'm buying a big SUV like this, this is what I want. This thing is not sporty at all. It's comfortable. I mean, this is a car I could get in and drive cross country and not even think about it. But we'll step out, unlock everything. Did forget to mention the mirrors are power folding. Just press right here on the door and they will fold in. Down below, we'll go ahead, release the hood. You can see our parking brake right there, and unlock everything. Inside the second row, everything follows through. You can release it up here, and access your third row. As you can see, you do have seating for three different cup holders, as well as controls for the seats, things like that. And stepping into the second row, I mean, I'm six foot two. I can easily sit behind myself, no problem. Plenty of space, and I mean, the seats back here are just as plush and nice as up front. All of your door panel materials follow through, padded stitched leather, storage, your automatic window controls. In the middle, you do have your rear climate controls. They are single zone automatic. You can control all of that right there. As well as two USB ports. Back seat pockets on each side, as well as in the middle, you do have an armrest, two cup holders built into that. And you can see your vents, as well as lighting, everything like that on the side. And inside the trunk on this one, just press to release. You can see plenty of space inside. This does include the uh, all-weather for your rear seats, as well as all of the original carpet floor mats. So from right here, you can fold the seats down. Just press, and they are power. And just like that, they will go down. I think that side's actually a little too reclined. I'll show you on the right. Just press and hold, and it will go all the way down. And you can see, that'll give you an idea of space for the third row down versus the third row up. Otherwise, you do have power outlets, different tie downs, everything like that back here. Go ahead, press, and bring the trunk back down. Back seat from this side, everything follows through. Same operation to access the third row. This will just flip up and out of the way. You do have cup holders, storage, same over there. And this as well can control the recline for the rear seat. Typical Nissan fashion, child locks built into the door right there. And on the passenger side, so you do have a power seat, as well as inside the glove box, 
everything follows through, all of your owner's literature, inspection certificate, everything like that. And up front, you can see the LED daytime running lights. We'll go ahead, cut the headlights, as well as the fog lights on. And up front, you can see projector, HID headlights, fog lights down below, and then under the hood. This one is equipped with Nissan's 5.6 liter V8. Everything under here is in great shape, running fantastic. I mean, plenty of power for what this thing is. Head, bring the driver's side window back up, cut it off right here, move the key, and headlights back in auto mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you aren't sitting in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.